In 1325, the Aztecs built their capital city on a lake. Not beside it, on it. Tenochtitlan was constructed on artificial islands in the middle of Lake Texcoco in modern-day Mexico City. When Spanish conquistadors first saw it in 1519, they thought they were hallucinating. A massive city floating on water. The Aztecs used Chinampas, artificial islands built from mud, reeds, and vegetation woven into floating gardens. They staked giant reed mats to the shallow lake bed, then piled on mud and plants until islands formed. These floating gardens produced up to seven harvests per year. Agricultural perfection. The city grew to five square miles with 200,000 to 300,000 people, larger than any European city at the time. Tenochtitlan had massive stone pyramids and temples built on these artificial islands. Engineering genius. Three major causeways connected the island city to the mainland, miles long and wide enough for eight horses. The Aztecs built aqueducts bringing fresh water from mountain springs across the lake. They created canals for canoe transportation. Think Venice, but 300 years earlier and more advanced. The city had sophisticated sewage systems and waste management that Europe wouldn't achieve for centuries. The central marketplace held 60,000 people and sold everything from gold to exotic animals. They built dikes to control flooding and separate fresh water from salt water. Cortez wrote that Tenochtitlan rivaled Constantinople and was more organized than any Spanish city. The Spanish destroyed in 1521 and built Mexico City on top. Today, Mexico City sinks 20 inches per year because it's built on the same lake sediment. Modern engineers study Aztec Chinampas for sustainable urban farming solutions. The Aztecs built a floating metropolis that shouldn't have existed, one of history's greatest engineering marvels.